what am I going to post to my Instagram story today? Let's start with this Red Bull over here. Get a picture of some code, open up an old file, get a snapshot of that. Well, hold on, let's open up another old file, make this two columns so people think I'm working twice as hard. Screw it, let's make it three columns and open up a third file. Instead of a screenshot, let's get a slow panning video of these three files. Moving on to the selfie, hold on, I need to put on my uh, glasses. That'll make me look more sophisticated. There we go. Post that to my Instagram story, and that is enough work for today. What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Instagram Graph API to get a user's stories. Over on my Instagram, I have posted three things to my story for our example here. I got a picture of a Red Bull, a video of some code, and a selfie of myself. So by the end of this video, we're going to have a web page that looks like this. We're going to hit the endpoint for getting user stories, and then we're going to dump out the response right here on the page. Here you see there is three things in the array, the three things that I have posted. And at the bottom, we're going to display them out. There's my selfie, here's my video, and here's my Red Bull. Clicking view on Instagram will take us to that story on Instagram. Before we get into coding, let's hop over to the documentation and check out the stories. We're going to be focusing on reading, which means getting stories. And you see here, it's just you specify the Instagram user ID slash stories, and that gives us our array back. Here are the limitations, so we cannot get live video stories. Stories are only available for 24 hours. So the web page we're going to write will only display the current live things that are on your story. New stories created when a user reshares a story will not be returned. Then we get to the permissions. These are the permissions you need on your access token in order to use this endpoint. Instagram basic, manage insights, pages read engagement, and pages show list. Here's a sample request. So they have a user ID slash stories for their example. And then we get back an array of IDs. One ID for each of the media uploaded to that story. I'm gonna hop over to developer.facebook.com slash tools slash explorer. This is where we're gonna get our access token. So if you don't have an access token, what you wanna do is you want to select the Facebook app you wanna use, select user token. And then here's where you need to make sure that the required permissions are on the access token that we just checked out over here. So we need these four right here. We have Instagram Basic, Manage Insights, Re-Engagement, and Show List. And this access token that I'm using currently has those four things. To add a permission to the token, you simply come down here where it says Add Permissions, and then you can search for permissions, and it should auto-populate, and you can select the one that you need. Do that for all four permissions, and then you click Generate Access Token, and it will give you your access token right here. Now that we have our access token generated, the other thing we're going to need for this is the Instagram business account ID. To do that, we're going to type up here me slash accounts. This will give you a list of the pages associated with you. Here is my Facebook page, and I'm going to use this page ID right here by clicking on it, and it will populate right here in the bar. Now to get the Instagram accounts associated with this page, you just have to tack on fields equals Instagram underscore business underscore account and hit submit. This will return you your Instagram business account ID. Now we click on this ID, it'll hop up in here into the bar and we can do stories. And you see it returns the three IDs for the three things currently posted to my story. Now we can actually hop over to the code. So here we have my blog code repository. Check it out and download it, it's on GitHub. In the Instagram Graph API folder, the docs folder, we're gonna create a new file here called user stories. And we're gonna open that up. The other file we need to look at is our defines file. It's one level outside of the docs file, and it's where we're going to store our access token and our Instagram account ID. Those are the two things we need for this video. From the Graph API Explorer, you want to copy this ID and place it right here. Then we want to copy our access token. Paste the token right in there, and now we have our token and our account ID, so we're ready to hit this endpoint. Over in our new file, we're going to include our defines file. Now we have access to those two variables. Then we're going to find the endpoint syntax. Here we have our git, we have our graphfacebook.com version, and then here's our Instagram user ID slash stories. Keep that there for reference. Next thing we're going to do is get the user stories. In order to get the user stories, we need our Instagram account ID and our access token. Right up here, we're going to create ourselves a function, get user stories. Define our endpoint. So we're going to copy our syntax up here, and we're going to replace the user ID here with our actual variable. That's the endpoint, then we're going to specify the params. Pass this along as an array. The only thing we need here is the access token. Then we can make our API call. 
and we pass in our endpoint and our params. Now we have to define our make API call. I'm going to copy this function over from IG Media. Here we have our make API call function. I'm going to paste that right here, and we have to specify a third parameter here, git. This is a simple function, it just makes a curl call to the endpoint specified. Since we're only doing git requests here, we just tack on the question mark and then build the query with the parameters array. We get a response back from Facebook. Then we turn this array here. This is just kind of for makes debugging a little easier. We're going to return the type, the endpoint we hit, the parameters we passed along, the actual endpoint once it was built, and then the data. This is the actual response from Facebook, JSON decoded. So up here in our git user stories, let's print out our response. Over in our blog code Instagram Graph API docs folder, here's my IG user story. I'm going to click on it. Here's the exact array that we defined to return from the make API call function. Our type, our endpoint, the parameters we passed along, the API endpoint once it's been generated, and then the actual response from Facebook is in our data array, and it happens to be nestled inside of data array also. And this is all that we want to return when we get our user stories back. So here we can say return, response, data, and then the data array inside of that contain the three IDs that we want. Now, if we dump out our stories down here, we should just see three IDs. Refresh the page, there we go. We have our stories. Now we need to get the info for each of the stories, the URL, the link to it on Instagram, and so on. To do that, we're gonna loop over each of the stories, and then we're gonna create another function called getMediaInfo. We're gonna pass the story into the function along with our access token. Below our get user stories, we're going to create our get media info function. This will be the array of our story, and this will be our access token. Now, for getting the media info, we're going to hop back to our previous tutorial where we actually got info on a media ID. Go check out that video if you haven't watched it, but I'm not going to go too much into depth for it. Again, we have our endpoint. Here it's just graph.facebook.com and then the media ID. In this case, it's our media, which is our story, and there's an ID for that story, which is just one of those three IDs. Then we have our parameters. Copy those from our IG media and paste them right here. Now we have to remove some of these fields because the stories don't have some of these options. Like stories don't allow comments, so there's no comment count. And if you pass that along, you'll get an error. So is comment enabled? Like count, delete that as well. The rest should all be... Ah, video, video title can't be there either. The rest should be okay. Now, like we did up here, we can get our response. Pass on our endpoint to get and our parameters. Let's check this out here. Let's do a print R on our response, which will show us the data for the first story, because we'll be falling right into here. Refresh our page. Here's the data. Our data array is the actual response from Facebook. We got the ID and we got a bunch of other info on that story ID. We got the Instagram ID, the product type, media type, media URL, owner, permalink, shortcode, timestamp, and the username. So if we copy this permalink, which is the link to it on Instagram, we should see my selfie. View story, there it is. So the media, get media info worked. We scroll up here and we remove the die. Now we just return our response data. Now each of our stories, media info will contain the returned info from Facebook. Again, we're printing out the stories right here. So now along with each ID, we have added on the info for that ID. Looks correct, we got three in here. We got one image, one video, and one more image. That's what we're looking for. And lastly, we want to write some HTML out here and actually display out the image in the video. We'll get a title going here. We'll display out the endpoint syntax here for reference on the page another title, and then we're going to print out the actual response. Check that out, make sure it's all looking good. Moving on, let's give us a throw an HR in here, a little divider, and now we can loop over the stories. Inside the for each, the first thing I'm gonna check for is the story media type. First we're gonna check for a video, then we're gonna check for an image, because if it's a video, we need to do video tags, and if it's an image, we just have to do an image tag. All right, so in our media info thumbnail URL, that is our poster image for the video, and the actual source, the video itself, is the media URL. Now the media URL is either a video or an image, so we can just copy this down in here and change this to an image tag, and we also want to style this to a max width of 300 pixels. Now we have our video and our image tag set up. Next, I'm going to display the username we got back. 
And after the username, I'm going to display out uh, a tag. It's a href linking right out to Instagram. And here we just echo out. Um, that's the Reiki permalink. There we go. And we can say view on Instagram. Let's refresh our page. Top part's good already. We know that. And the bottom part is looking good. There's my selfie. Here's my video. Let's see if it plays. Nice. And then the last one should be my Red Bull. And let's view this on Instagram, make sure that's working. View story took me right to the Red Bull. Well, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. That is how you get user stories with the Instagram Graph API. Check out the code on GitHub. I'll leave links in the description. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.